Giulia Bubolini and I work for the um, Center for Innovation and Economic Development uh, of the Chamber of Commerce of Emilia Romagna. Emilia Romagna is the one of the fastest growing uh, regions in, um, in Italy. It hasn't always been so, but uh, right now we are among the, the top regions in Europe and that makes us very proud. But um, apart from that, um, Chisa was funded back in 1996 by the uh, Chamber of Commerce of Forlì at that time because they then merged with that of, of Rimini. They're kind of clustering territories to um, achieve a size that is more suitable to actively promote innovation. And uh, Chisa was created mainly to support innovation in the small and medium enterprises. And we always interpreted that as um, in terms of supporting both um, technological and uh, operational innovation. And in the late 90s, we uh, were struck by the concept of a corporate social responsibility as a very powerful mean of uh, operational innovation. And uh, at the dawning of the concept of responsible research and, and innovation, we kind of thought that we found a comprehensive framework to bring the two elements of our work, operational and technological innovation, together. So this is how my organization came to be engaged in responsible research and innovation. And, and, and personally, um, I was um, part of the process as uh, because we, we, we mainly found re resources and time and energies to engage in responsible research and innovation through uh, support from uh, the European Union to uh, European territorial cooperation projects. So that is why I, I came to be passionate about responsible research and innovation and I came to you know, um, achieve some, some knowledge around it. I was really excited to have been invited to speak at the Nucleus Conference uh, because I always appreciate every occasion that I'm given to, um, to exchange views about responsible research and innovation with uh, people that come from what I, I feel is a different environment from mine. I, I, I work for an agency that promotes innovation and supports innovation uh, with specific focus on small and medium enterprises. So this is a completely different field from, from the academia that is looking at the, you know, the, the grandest challenges that we, we face, that is you know, inv in inventing the next big thing. So we're small players, so, so to speak. Um, and um, so when I saw the list of, of participants, I thought, how am I going to say something that really interests these people? Um, so I just thought, let, 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 let's be practical, let's, let's talk about what I know, let's talk about uh, um, the fact that um, we feel that there's um, basically a, a language barrier between the academia and the, and the enterprises and nothing more than that. Uh, we, we all want the same thing, we want to deliver innovation that are, are interesting, that people are going to buy and, and to use, so if we look at that, uh, final goal, um, the dialogue is possible and I think that these two days prove that. I mean, I've had very interesting discussion and I'm bringing a lot back and I do hope that um, what I was able to convey in terms of regional policy making with reference to our rise is, is made is of some use to Nucleus participants. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.